For those who are new or unfamiliar with my content, I would like to give a disclaimer. Slow Damage has an extremely self-destructive main character, and his nonchalant comments about his lack of concern for himself does trigger my nervous laughter. If you'd like to view my content that covers darker and triggering subjects like this one, please consume it responsibly and know that this content is not for minors. I want to emphasize that if you experience any of the severe symptoms that Toa does, I highly encourage that you seek professional help rather than view this playthrough. Good evening, my dears, and welcome back to Slow Damage. I believe we are on part 9, correct? <laughs> if we're not, I'll correct myself next video. So, <laughs> so last we left off, um, Toa and Taku were... talking out their feelings <laughs> I'll put it that way um, so I I okay I'm not gonna say like okay let's try to get through the rest of this chapter of this video because I don't know how long this chapter is I I really don't know it is so long it's so long in comparison to chapter one and two so let's See where the road takes us, is what I will say for us. <laughs> Here we go. One week later, at last, it was the day of Tono's party. Per Taku's instructions, I only left my room when Tono called for me. That being said, the guy was clearly super busy, since he only called for me a handful of times and only to serve him booze. Maybe Taku really did convince him to cut me a break. As I sat on the bed, I looked at the digital clock on the bedside table. Tono's party was now just one hour away. But there was still no word from A.G. Right as I started to worry that we would run out of time, there was a knock at the door. I rose to my feet and walked to the door. Uh, oh, it's the bestie! On the other side stood the woman with the bob cut. Uh, uh, no. Come on, girl, give me some good news. She looked a bit flustered. Oi, what you doing? Can this guy... A loud voice bellowed down the hall, and the burly guy came storming over to us. Great, this clown again- exactly! I- why is this guy still here? <laughs> the woman looked over her shoulder and froze. Oh, help me. He took one look at me and his face twisted in fury. You need to back up. I... First, first things first. When we got Tono, I'm getting you first. <laughs> it's so sick. No, oh, I hate this dude. Son. We're just chatting, you psycho. Hey, I'm over it. Ugh. He grabbed her by the arm. Yamete yeah, calm down. She flailed, trying to shake him off. Huh? She looked at me imploringly, but it wasn't fear I saw in her eyes. She, f she, oh, she seemed full of determination. Reflexively, I slammed my shoulder into her attacker. Let's go, baby! While he was distracted with the woman, I wrapped my left arm around his neck, put my elbow to his throat, and squeezed as hard as I could. Yeah, get rid of this dude! I'm so sick of him. 
He struggled to escape my grip, but I used all my strength to hold on, steadily choking him. Eventually, he went limp. Passed out, apparently. I laid him down on the floor and looked over at the woman. Bless her little heart. <laughs> Hastily, she offered me something. It was a cell phone. Yes! Let's go! Work! Garage. エイジさんです。エイジ、エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ。エイジ
彼は一体何をするつもりなんださあなパーティーの開催までに間に合ったとは言ってたけどパーティーが始まるのは午後5時あと1時間もない、うんうんうん、今の電話どうのかああかなり焦ってるだがもともと与えられた時間が少なすぎたんだ<笑> Just then, the cell phone in my pocket started to buzz. I pulled it out and raised it to my ear. <laughs> What's your status? <laughs> okay, so good. <laughs> Taku looked at me sternly. <laughs> 30分後に行動を起こすからそれまでに薬のデータをまとめろってデータは全部この中にまとめてある Perfect He grabbed a USB drive off the desk and held it up for me to see あと30分か<笑>何をするつもりだろうな Oh boy I wanna know too <笑>建物ごと爆破でもするつもりじゃないのか Probably <笑> I don't want to play f u l g r i n Oh mercy 30 minutes later Outside, I heard gunshots and a stampede of footsteps. Taku walked to the door, peered outside, then walked back. Kiregire ni shika k i k o e n a k a t a n a b a k h a t s to party kaijo te kotoba ga k i k o e n a Let's go, Eiji. Yo so ga a t a t t a na. Sono yo da. He shrugged and shook his head wearily. Dere jinbi wa. Let's go, baby. 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 Let's go, Lisa. Suddenly, the sounds of a fight rang out from the hall. There was a muffled groan, and then all went quiet. A moment later, there was a shy knock at the door. Got you, boo. <laughs> It was Lisa. I walked to the door and opened it. She hurried into the room, dragging the body of some guy. Work. It was one of Tono's goons, unconscious. Taku looked at Lisa in shock. Boy, come on. <laughs> she answered casually as she shut the door behind her, then dropped the guy on the floor. Let's go! Taku looked at me perplexed. Let's go! <laughs> With Lisa leading the way, we left the room. Let's go, baby! The hallway was empty, but it still felt like someone was watching us. Probably a result of all the tension in the air. Taku called after Lisa. After, oh, as she walked. Ooh, work. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> She walked briskly towards the bar area. Work. I don't know what to think of this. I don't know what to think of this. To the main floor. Lights were off and the Shikobi nightscape glittered beyond the windows. <laughs> At the bottom of the stairs, Lisa suddenly came to a stop. No! Likewise, Taku and I stopped short and looked ahead. There, in the center of the room, illuminated by the moonlight. Who else was it gonna be? Was Tono pointing a gun in our faces? Next to him, his subordinates had their guns drawn as well. No! Tono! <laughs> Murase! <laughs> Kusuri wa doshita! Kusuri wa He pointed his enraged smile at Lisa next. Not Lisa! Staff room kara ikkaye de yoto de mo o m o t t e t a n d a Oh. Scoffing, he jerked his chin in the direction of a nearby door. 
、俺の個人回線が誰かに使われたという。なあ。どうせお前たちだろうと思って。監視を強化した。なあ、なあ。Evidently, I wasn't delusional when I sent someone watching us. Oh, shit. 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 ようやく村瀬が悪あがきをやめて観念したのかと思ったらこれだ。Suddenly Tono thrust out his gun and pulled the trigger without hesitation. On reflex, we all hit the floor, but Taku grunted, grimacing. A dark red stain had appeared on his right coat sleeve, and it was slowly growing. This wasn't the first time he had taken a bullet protecting me from Tono. The memories flared up in my mind. Oi, you have to do this. Don't say more, you're not going to get out of here. Robotically, Tono's subordinates trained their guns on us as we lay on the floor. <coughs> Darn. Taku yanked on my arm, trying to pull me behind him. <laughs> I promptly recoiled. I didn't want them to turn, in, turn him into Swiss cheese. But just then. <laughs> Work! One of the men yelped and dropped his gun. I looked over and spotted a small slender blade sticking out of the back of his hand. She announced boldly. Evidently, she'd helped herself to some scapples when she came to pick us up. <laughs> Work. Lisa turned her scapple on Tono. With a venomous glare, he fired his gun. <gasps> Lisa, no! Her petite body flew backwards and she collapsed to the floor. Oi! Taku rushed to her side like he'd forgotten his own injury entirely. She was curled into a ball and there was a scarlet stain over her abdomen. No, Lisa! No! Not Lisa! Grimacing, she shot a pointed look in Tono's direction. <laughs> I'm crying. Tono spoke matter of factly as he held the gun. Taku rose to his feet, scoring off against him. His brow was sweaty, probably from the pain of the gunshot. Tono lowered his head slightly and pointed his gun at Taku. Tono, you're really thankful to me. You saved me. I was not here now. I'm going to give you a chance to give you a chance. そう思われても仕方がないだが俺は人を助けたくて医者になったんだだからお前に従うことはできない今さら善人ぶるなよそれでお前の罪が消えるとでも罪は必ず償う俺はもう自分に言い訳をして逃げるのはやめたんだあいつのせいかおっ Tono flicked his gun in my direction. Work! <laughs> so I'm just like. The stress is getting me. The stress is getting me. <laughs> Rude. Uh -huh. Just then, Taku's entire vibe shifted. His smoke swayed angrily, tinged faintly red. <laughs> Tono's expression twisted in fury. While he was distracted, I slowly slid a hand around to my back. Then I pulled the gun out of my belt and clicked the safety off. Glaring at Taku, Tono squeezed the trigger, and that very instant, work! I fired my gun at Tono. The recoil made my arm jolt upwards, but my bullet struck his gun. It clattered loudly to the floor. 
At that precise moment, Taku charged full speed and bowed Tono over. As they were wrestled on the floor, Taku grabbed both of his arms and pinned him. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! I walked over and thrust the barrel of my gun at Tono's forehead. He froze, looking at me with bloodshot eyes. Then Taku got up and reached for my gun. We exchanged a silent look. He nodded and gently took it out. Oh, gently took it out of my hand. Come on, bestie. We got this. Then he pointed it at Tono. Tono stared back at Taku, aghast. Taku put his finger on the trigger. His eyes were filled with quiet, intense determination. He was planning to finish this. <laughs> Come on, bestie. Silently, I looked at him. His finger tightened and pulled the trigger. <laughs> yeah! A roaring explosion rent the air, followed by silence. Pale smoke rose from the barrel of the gun in Taku's hand. But, at the floor, not Tono. Tono froze, dazed. But Taku's expression didn't shift an inch. He just quietly stared back at Tono. Work. <laughs> Oh, Doc. Shot him. With that low growl, he lowered the gun. After that, the mainland police arrived at the scene and took Tono into custody. Yes! I'm free! I'm free from this dude! Everyone at the party venue was rounded up, including the politicians and other authority figures. Just as promised, Eiji took the pill samples to the mainland police and told them of Tono's plan. Fortunately for Lisa, Tono's bullet wasn't fatal. She and the rest of us were taken down to the station as material witnesses. They searched the hotel building and found comatose individuals who had overdosed on the experimental drug, plus several corpses. But while the investigation proceeded without a hitch, Shinkomi would probably never go back to the way it used to be. For many years, the Takasato Gumi had rejected the mainland's involvement, but now things were different. From here on, the authorities would start to clean up the place. After a long period of questioning, Taku and I returned home from the mainland. Ray! Tono had shut down the clinic. When we finally made it back, we found Ray waiting for us at the door. The moment he laid eyes on us, he burst into tears and joyfully celebrated our reunion. <laughs> Slow damage. Work! <laughs> we did it, y'all! <sighs> Taka was charged as an accomplice to the Takasato Gumi and addicted for falsifying medical documents. We were prepared for him to be detained until he was formally sentenced, but surprisingly enough, they let him out on bail. Because he had no prior criminal record and fully cooperated with the authorities, they decided that he wasn't going to, oh, he wasn't going to destroy any evidence or skip town. We did it, besties. I pulled out my cell phone and checked the GPS. I knew he lived somewhere nearby, but this was my first time actually going there. I stepped out of the silent clinic and started walking. Well, that's right, we've never been. With me gone, Murase Clinic was now totally empty. All right. Let's go. They're gonna get frisky, aren't they? <laughs> One day, while he was out on bail, I visited his house for the first time. Even Taka was surprised to realize he'd never invited me over in all the years we'd known each other. He laughed and said, 
we'd probably see enough of each other at the clinic anyway. At the exam room at the clinic, his house was fairly cluttered. The dining table was covered in flyers and papers, and the sink was full of dirty dishes. He sat me down on the sofa, went into another room to retrieve something, then came back. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, is that Toa? He's so cute! It was a photo of a young boy. The boy was sitting with perfect posture and smiling shyly. Shyly. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh, he's so cute! It was like... <laughs> Honestly, I found it hard to believe that this kid was me. It looked like some random kid. But apparently this was what I was like when I was younger. As I stared down blankly at the photo, Taku sat next to me and gently put a hand to my back. How is the wound? You see, recently... Oh, I recently had surgery to remove the web tag from my body. It happened a few days ago since Taku wanted to get it done before he went to prison. It ached on occasion, but otherwise didn't hurt. I shook my head and he let out a sigh of relief. Oh, he's so cute! He smiled wryly at me. お前の袋さんに食事に誘われた時、レストランで撮ったんだ。少してれくさそうな顔をしてるだろう。お前はこのくらいの頃はまだ恥じらいっていうのがあったんだな。Rude. <笑> Rude. <笑> Rude. <笑> <そりゃ、この頃から、笑> お前はどこかに放っておくれない空気があったよ。目を離した隙に折れちまうんじゃないかって思うような危うさがあった。その印象だけは今も変わらん。お前は危なっかしくて本当に。だったら早く帰ってこいよ。お。I looked directly into his eyes and he nodded firmly. In response, I leaned in and kissed him. As our lips brushed, he reached out and gently took my hand. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and as we pulled away, I laced my fingers with his. Toa. I will atone for my crimes and come back to you, I promise. <laughs> so please, wait for me. <laughs> and thank you for accepting who I am. After that, Taka was tried and sentenced to two years in prison. Oh, thank goodness. That's like nothing. You know, <laughs> I mean, in the grand scheme of things, two years is nothing. You know, that means like, you know, a pretty lenient sentence, in my opinion. The clinic had closed temporarily, but since the main practitioner was now a convicted criminal, it would probably never open its doors again. After my arm healed, I spent every day in the deserted clinic focused purely on my art. I had filled multiple sketch pads and several canvases, all of them were portraits of Taku. Every now and then Ray would bring me some food, claiming he was worried about me holing up in my apartment. Ultimately, he became my lifeline. Without his food, I probably would have ignored my own hunger until I starved to death. Bless Ray. And about a year later. By the time Taku was let out on good behavior, I had painted dozens of new paintings. But I was partic particularly obsessed with one of them, and I worked on it for hours and hours. Ooh. Only when Ray informed me about Taku's return did I finally set down my brush. Which brings us to today. <gasps> the sakura trees! 
Cigarette dangling from my lips, I stood at the front gates of a mainland correctional facility. Multiple cigarette butts lay scattered at my feet. Somehow, I just couldn't relax. Maybe I was actually nervous for a change. My new cigarette swiftly burned down to the filter. I dropped it to the ground and crushed it under my heel. But right as I was about to light another, I spotted a short-haired man walking toward the gate from the other side, carrying a navy blue duffel bag. Despite the unlit cigarette between my lips, I found my gaze drawn to him. The security guards opened the iron gates. The man bowed to them, then continued walking. As he passed through the gates, he spotted me and stopped short. I pinched the cigarette between my fingers and raised it in greeting. He stared at me, stunned, then his expression crumpled and he struggled to don a smile. Slowly but surely, Taku walked up to me. I hadn't seen him in a while. He looked a little older, plus he had a buzz cut now, but he seemed stronger somehow. <gasps> wow. <laughs> As he approached, I took a step forward. Then I slowly opened my mouth to speak. Okay. Oh, pretty! Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, we are now just two feet apart. The distance between us really drove home just how much time had passed. His smile was pained and a little shy. <laughs> uh. The awkward small talk swiftly petered out. I looked at him and noted the tension. What was there to talk about? What was there to talk about? Just then I remembered. I had a question I'd been meaning to ask, but never found the right time. This wasn't exactly the best time either, but I had to admit it'd make for an interesting icebreaker. So I opened my mouth, oh gosh, what are you gonna say, and said, <gasps> Okay. He frowned at the sudden question. Oh, oh, Taku blushed and averted his gaze in a panic. It's like, what was I gonna say? <laughs> What, what were you gonna say? He seemed to remember. He nodded to himself, then looked back at me. The look on his face said, Are you kidding me? <laughs> but that embarrassment slowly turned serious. So pretty! Work. Work. <laughs> それはもうやめてほしいと言おうと思ったんだ。お。今はどうなんだ。How about it? <laughs> oh boy. He looked at me wordlessly, but as time passed in silence, he steadily grew more and more anxious. I let out a breath. バカバカしい。Then my lips curled in a grin. <laughs> Not me being dramatic. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh! We got through it, everybody. Oh my gosh. Taco got me buck wild. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Okay, so I don't know how this the the, the music's kind of buck wild on me, but um, so Taku 
Otaku's route, basically, <laughs> is about him finally being able to to chase after exactly what it is he wants, but also he has a problem with basically being <laughs> a, to a toxic selflessness. I'm gonna teach y'all that, that phrase, toxic selflessness. Um, because Taku cares not enough for himself, um, he puts himself in a position where he just causes trouble for everyone, um, which is seen in his chapter with um, Toa. He is afraid to make decisions because he feels so indebted to this, like, this crummy gangster um, that is no good. But for some reason, Taku can't let go of the gratitude given to him by this gangster that had no good intentions for him, um, which in turn hurts everybody. It hurts Toa, it hurts Rei, um, it hurts him, you know, and, you know, as he said, he wanted to be a doctor because he wanted to help his mother, but because of the situation, in the end, he couldn't even help his mother because his mother would end up dying of addiction. Um, Taku is a very sad man. <laughs> that's, that's what I've pretty much um, gotten here. He's a very, very sad man, um, which would make a lot of sense because he is, he's perhaps, um, he is the, the moral compass of this cast. Um, Ray, um, we're gonna see what happens with Ray because I'm I'm still not sure what his darkness is, right? This game is about unveiling the darkness in these characters, right? So I'm not sure. Like I'm not sure, but Taku is definitely the moral compass, kind of overbearing father figure slash mother figure slash overbearing romantic partner but you know through this chapter he has learned to work it out i believe <laughs> that's that's the hope also jail does things so you know um oh but wow that was a wild ride um i i will say i thought i was <laughs> it felt like i was in purgatory though because i couldn't i cannot stand tono you know, I thought Asakura's chapter was was rough, dude. In the end, Asakura was just, you know, in the end, Asakura was just very confused. You know, he was just, he was basically, um, he was basically misunderstanding how he felt because, and questioning how he thought he might be because other people had already assumed he was a bad person. Um, so Asakura was like, well, am I a bad person? Am I, am I that bad of a person? You know, and I'm just like, no, I mean, you know, you, he ended up developing some, some weird thing going on, all because everybody was accusing him of something he, he was not and something he did not do. So, it's rough out there, you know? It's rough out there in the club. But um, in Taku's case, it's like Taku was denying himself everything because of guilt, trauma, um, misplaced gratitude, and and his, his loyalty to the people he considers family and close to him, you know? Um, it's a lot. And I sim I sympathize. I I give sympathy to Taku because it's not easy. Because you want so badly to take care of the people. You know, you want to take care of the people you care about, but it's hard to when when you are that kind of person. It's also easy for you to feel guilty because of the bad things that you do. But we are all human, and that you know. 
We can only do so much, and Taco was doing too much. <laughs> you know. Oh man, that was a that was a ride. That was a ride. And and I I'm so glad. I'm so glad they busted that dude. He was getting on my damn nerve. Like literally, they were Lisa and Toa were doing nothing. Literally like sitting next to each other. He's already and I'm like, you need to calm down. Okay? I hope I see more of Lisa. I'm very sad. She was like she was the homie. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see her in other chapters and other routes. But now, Taku's route was definitely um the best friend route, it feels like. If if he's not the best friend E route, because he's the most vanilla the most vanilla route is usually the best friend route. They get shafted the most. So it's Taku. If it's not Taku, it's Ray. <laughs> and I will I will say that. Have mercy. Okay. <gasps> what is that? Oh, the painting changed. Okay. So I want to actually talk about Taku's painting. This is the, okay. Asakura's painting, I don't know, whatever. I love Ikuina's painting though, but this painting here, Taku's painting is very interesting because it looks like, because it's white, it looks like nothing was painted on. But this is really like, okay, so painting is so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all like a nerd kind of situation right now. These paintings are so, like, um, the reason we analyze paintings, and sometimes it's so easy for us to be, like, garbage, right? Because, um, paintings are very, very, um, it's very easy to immediately, like, not care for it, or to immediately feel a connection. Um, and usually with paintings, if you don't feel a connection or like you feel like it's nonsense, it's like it's really easy to brush it off. But this painting here is interesting because it's mostly white with a little, you know. So this square in the middle is a is an interesting one because it looks like there's blood around it, right? So it looks like it's a patch, like it's it's essentially like a patched up. Um, like a patched up wound, which is the theme of, of Taku's, again, chapter and his relationship with Toa. It's that Taku will always be there to take care of Toa no matter what. He's always there to make sure he can take care of Toa, which is so bug wild. But um, okay, let's see what I got here. Okay, working in progress, the canvas, okay. Ooh! Wah, 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 wah! Tips? Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, unable to watch. Oh, we can go through... <gasps> Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> CGs! Oh boy, we can't look through all of these, but we can look through some. Okay. Oh good, okay. I was gonna be like, oh boy, am I gonna Is it gonna be a time here? <gasps> Cute. Ure. Oh yeah, I know who these two are. Um, <laughs> I was like, I see. Uh, oh, this is so cute. He's so cute. Uh, okay. All right. What else? Music. Back. Tips. Okay. Palette. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Kina Sakura. Oh man. 
Replay special scenes. Ooh. Euphoria, euphoria. Nostalgia, phrase, doctor. Nostalgia, interesting. Ooh. What else do we got here? I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was a really short episode because it's the ending of, of Taku's chapter. Ah, oh, that was so, so good. Um, you know, I, will, I won't talk about anything too bad until we play the rest of the game, but <laughs> we'll talk about it. Um, yeah. So, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I'm going to cut off this episode here just because... Um, just because it's it's a good it's a good stuff. So this will be a really short episode, but um, you know I just feel like it's best to cut it off here instead of like trying to start the next chapter. Because <laughs> then at least now you know um, you know you'll know that this is the end of Taku's chapter. Um, next time uh, we're gonna start another chapter. We're gonna see what what it do. You know so um, yeah. This has been a lot of fun. I'm so, I'm so excited to, to meet the other two, uh, for real, real. I'm so excited to go through these routes. I'm so, I'm so pumped. Okay, this has been a lot of fun. So, um, stay happy, stay healthy, stay well. Um, do not forget if you want more BL related content, I do have a podcast called You Can Smooch Though, available on Spotify. Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Season 1 is up and complete, and Season 2 will be coming later this year. We are in starting bits of production, and so, otherwise, thank you so, so much for joining me in finishing Taku's chapter. I'm excited to meet our other boys and see what darkness we will be exploring next. Thank you guys. Stay well. Take care. I'll see you guys later. Night night.